Hello everybody, it's I, Zonkoku, bringing you a movie review. The movie that I am reviewing is Star Trek Beyond. I just finished watching it not too long ago, and I thought I would share my opinions with you on that movie. So here we go. Star Trek Beyond is about the continuing mission of the Starship Enterprise and its crew. This time, they are in an uncharted nebula looking for a crew of aliens that are in distress. While well, looking for them, unfortunately, they are attacked by an alien force that destroys the Enterprise and leaves the crew stranded on a remote planet. Most of the crew has been captured by these aliens, but a few patches have evaded detection. And it is up to them to find a way to reunite themselves with each other and the rest of the crew and get off the planet. Of course, they also find out that those aliens did not attack the Enterprise by accident. No, it was purposeful because the Enterprise had an artifact in its archives that is part of an ancient alien weapon. And these aliens want to build that weapon and use it to do evil alien things. Yes destruction and peril. So not only does the crew have to get off the planet, but also stop the aliens from making this weapon and destroying well, the universe. So this movie is probably the first time in, in the series where I really felt like this is, this is a Star Trek movie. It had the Star Trek feel from the beginning. The first two movies, the, orig the, uh, the original reboot and Into Darkness, they felt more like sci-fi movies with a Star Trek theme, using characters from Star Trek, but it just didn't feel like Star Trek. This movie, it did at the beginning. You start off with a diplomatic mission. They're talking about how they're in deep space, away from home, how it's kind of wearing on people, how like the crew is is growing and and dealing with their, their new situation. And it felt, yeah, it felt kind of like the, the Star Trek type of feel. They go to this new uh, star base, which is a, kind of a geosphere. That was really cool. And their mission is, oh, wow, there's an alien they had no contact with before. They figure out their language and realize that, oh, they're, they're in trouble in this uncharted nebula. This is exactly what Star Trek is about, helping out some people, meeting new aliens, going to places where no one else has gone before. This is great. Of course, then, like I said, they get attacked by aliens and the real plot kicks in. And because of that, it ends up being more of the same. Uh, great universal peril, lots of action, with bits and pieces of Star Trek character throughout. Really, the strongest part about this movie is that it actually does a good job of character building. Not that the first two didn't really do that. It's just really, I felt that this one made bonds more than the other ones. They were a little bit more support for us, but this one, you really started to get a feel that uh, there was real relationships going on, especially between the character of Bones, McCoy, and Spock. Now, in the original Star Trek, those two guys, you know, they, they really went at it, each other. Uh, the kind of butting heads, uh, mutual respect, but differing philosophies about life and existence and emotions and stuff like that. And you got that nostalgic feel from these two characters. They're the brightest part about this movie. They do an excellent job. Their banter back and forth and their relationship builds through this movie. And you really got a feeling of, of the old McCoy and the old Spock going at it. And it was really cool, really cool. The uh, the female character that they find on the planet, I'm going to call her Lassie because that is what uh, Scotty kept calling her. So I can't really remember her name because all all he does is say, "Come here, Lassie, Lassie, let's go, Lassie, uh, Lassie, Lassie." There's my bad Scottish accent, by the way. But uh, she was a real cool character. I'm not going to get into um, much detail about her or other parts of the plot because. I guess things could be considered a little spoilerish. There's uh, some some neat little uh, nuggets of surprises here and there, and I don't want to spoil that for you. But 
the plot itself kind of generic because it's, uh, oh, we're attacked by aliens and now we have to save the universe because these aliens want to destroy all life. Well, not necessarily all life, but I'm not going to get into their exact uh, MO because, once again, that could be spoilers. But yeah, they want to do bad things with this alien technology. So, once again, the, 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 the emotional bonds, the crewmates, really became um, a bigger part. It felt a bigger part of this movie. And I really liked it. And that's the strongest part of the movie. It's got good action. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, sigh moments where, of course, one crew member is going to be there right at the exact time to save another one. And yeah, there's those cliche moments. Plus the story, once again, is kind of like the original reboot Star Trek where it's, like, oh, here comes some unknown alien entity that wants to destroy all of humanity. So I wish they would have done a little something more original with the villain and the plot. But then again, you know, you can't uh, you can't always be more um, Star Trek episode than Star Trek movie because then you end up with like Star Trek Insurrection. And uh, yeah, that one. So. Yeah, I, I kind of understand. They have to get into the, the action. They have to have, like, high stakes. But once again, because of the whole, like, oh, there's always a crew member right there at the right time, you don't really feel like any of the main crew is in any kind of peril. So, yeah, some of those are ridiculous. But that being said, overall, the movie itself is very entertaining. Uh, the beginning of the movie, kind of slow. Uh, it, it does kind of feel a little overblown, but then again, if you compare it to the original, original Star Trek The Motion Picture, where they totally overblew their, their openings and the Enterprise and Space Dog and whatnot, okay, we get you, we get you. So this one, entering into the, the new space station, not as bad in comparison. Maybe they did that a little bit long because they wanted to pay homage to the original. I don't know. But overall, like I said, I like the movie. He has some slow parts, some ridiculous parts. Not overly uh, original. However, I did like it. I like the characters. And it is a great building block because, honestly, uh, I'm going to have to watch uh, the Star Trek reboot again to kind of figure it out. But I think this one is the best of the new Star Treks so far right now. I'll, I'll rewatch the other one and maybe adjust my opinion. But it felt so much better. And I was so entertained. And it is a great stepping stone for, for more. And unfortunately, because of circumstances, they're going to have to do something with the the characters. Because, unfortunately, Anton Yelchin has passed away, and he played a pretty major part of the crew, so I don't know how they're going to deal with that situation. However, this is a good stepping stone to another movie, and has great potential, and I am excited. With Star Trek Beyond, hap or not Star Trek Beyond, but Star Trek Into Darkness happened, I felt kind of like, oh my gosh. Is this series going to become a mess? Is it going to become a mess? Is this going to be the end of it? I don't know, but uh, not that I totally hate it Into Darkness. It's just a letdown. And this movie is definitely brings you back up. So, my final score is going to be a 3.4 out of 5. Very entertaining. <laughs> Kicked you in the nostalgia with, with the bones and Spock interactions. It felt like a Star Trek movie, more so than the last two. And I'm really excited about the future. When it was over, I was I was I was like, oh man, I want some more of this. And that's great. That's a good feeling. Not one of those like, yeah, it was okay. I mean I could watch another one maybe, but no, no, it's like, yeah, I'm I'm energized for this series. And that's a good thing. So so I give it some good scores, even though, like I said, there are definitely some weaknesses, and I can understand why some people would not like uh, big parts of this movie. But for me, I liked it, and hopefully you will like it too. I watched it in 3D. However, the 3D didn't really add anything to the movie. It didn't really stand out to me. It sort of ended up disappearing. 
uh, until the end credits, which the first part was pretty cool, but you don't need to watch it in 3D to get the full experience, so don't worry about it. This one, you can watch it just straight up. So, there you have it, Star Trek Beyond. What did you think about the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment in the comment section. Anyways, I will leave it at that. Stay sexy, Internet. Yeah.